Hello there, my name is Michael. I'm going to be talking about all the things we learned this week and, yeah, just about some topics we learned about. Um, so something we learned, uh, I'd say we started the week off with learning, you know, about, I'd say probably the most important thing is how to get user input is what we learned about. I'd say it's one of the most important things we're probably going to learn most of this quarter because everything is probably going to be based off of user input. Um, we talked about some identifiers and variables, um, uh, assignment statements and assignment expressions. Uh, we talked about naming conventions, different data types and operations, reading numbers from the keyboard, um, numeric operators, exponent operations, numeric literals. We learned about a bunch of stuff uh, involving typing and how to and how to type, as well as how to get the user type. We also learned, I'd say, more about the the math side of things this week, and um, that kind of leads into what my imp like my most difficult topic is going to be. Um, I'd say the most difficult topic for me this week was probably the math side. Um, I was having a lot of trouble with uh, getting just getting the math exactly right to get the correct output that I needed. Um, you know, it's just, you know, it's always a sense of dialing it in, but I just, you know, it's just that's always been the difficult part for me is getting the math down pat because I'm still relearning a lot of math and, and so on. Um, I'd say something I really like this week about what we learned is how to do, uh, user input again. Uh, I just find it really interesting how Java does it versus how Python does it. I like looking at the different similarities. Um, yeah. What else? Um, I thought that the videos were always really helpful. I always really like having the videos because they always help expand on what, what we're learning. <clears throat> and I always like having something like a watch along, you know, along to, along with my learning rather than just having to read it all, it's really nice being able to watch things. Um, yeah, so, just to loop back around on something, more like expanding on what we learned, um, something else I really liked was learning about, oh, uh, how to, how to calculate time, and, like, my current time. I found that really interesting how, um, it's all started at the Unix epoch in, in 1970, and that's just kind of how we use, this is how we calculate the amount of time, like, the current time is by in the milliseconds since that moment and i think that's i think it's something that's really interesting i think it's really a unique way of telling time uh within you know within coding um yeah so uh, i would say another thing i i was interested in was j shell i thought that was i was pretty cool about learning about j shell and you know how how it's a command line tool that you know evaluates expressions and executing a statement i think it's a i think it's really it's really handy to have j shell on hand um Something uh, that's different about um, what's it called about a uh, about Java to Python is the amount of things that you have to you have to kind of talk about or you have to like define before you make a statement. So uh, you know, you, like you have to do different data types and define with your data types. And I find that really interesting compared to Python, where you just kind of just keep just write it and go right. And um, you know, data type conversion. I also thought was interesting because you know I, I was. I was learning, I was thinking about that, how, how you could, you know, what if you have, if you put in a certain data type earlier on, you realize that the number's too big, and you have to, you know, convert it, and so, you know, I, I thought that was really interesting, again, so, yeah, a numeric operator is another good example of just kind of learning that math and getting it all down pat, but, yeah, I just find the math to be the difficult part for me, um, yeah, so I thought that, in summary, I thought that basically what we learned is about the math and how to get the user to input things. Um, and overall, not too bad. Still, still, still a little challenging, but it's it's pretty. It's you know, it's a good. It was a good chapter. Good week.